And the Target 12 investigators have been digging into the history of that vacant uh, mill building in Woonsocket. City records show the building, which was more than 120 years old, was last sold in 2022. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie joins us live in studio now with more details. Alex? Well, the building had been the longtime home to a chemical manufacturing facility, and a recent environmental report also shows the building has previously housed Hasbro, Gerber, and various textile manufacturers. A 122-year-old Woonsocket mail building up in flames early Monday morning. But it's not the first time Woonsocket firefighters have been called to 20 Privilege Street. This is 12 News video from 2017 when a hazmat team had to be called for a small fire Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management officials said was caused by vandals. A 2017 report said three officers had to be treated for exposure, claiming vandals had also knocked over chemicals. City tax records show the property was last sold in 2022, but had been occupied by a chemical manufacturing company since 1986. A 2019 environmental assessment said investigators found lead-based paint, asbestos, and mercury in the building. Photos from that year showed deteriorating conditions inside the building, plus storage drums with unknown substances and stacks of chemicals. We knew it as CNC chemical is what it was, yeah. So they mixed all kinds of chemicals. Uh, we've been working, our hazmat team, our fire marshals, working with the state and DEM to make sure that the chemicals were out once the building was shuttered. So. They've taken most of the chemicals out. It's just the residual stuff that's still here now. An assessment showed the cost to dispose of contaminated soil would likely exceed five and a half million dollars, and that remediating the building of asbestos, lead-based paint, and other materials would exceed two hundred fifty-six thousand dollars. Now, DEM just got back to us in the last 15 minutes. We're told the current owner used a contractor to remove containers with chemical waste prior to the fire. We're also told that any drums that may have remained in the building likely contained non-hazardous waste and rainwater. I reached out to the owners earlier today, but did not hear back. With the Target 12 investigators, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.